Hey, John here, and this is the Canon Rebel T3i. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do what's called bracketing or auto bracketing. Bracketing is where the camera is going to take multiple pictures at the same time. Right now, my camera's on program mode, and it's turned on. In order to get to the bracketing, uh, you're going to push the Q button, and you're actually going to go up to the light meter. Now, when you go into this setting, it's a setting for both exposure compensation and auto exposure bracketing, which is AEB right there. So it's two different settings. Now you can see left and right and the wheel. So let me go back here. If I go left and right, you can see I'm adjusting my exposure compensation. I'm telling the meter, I want you to always read a little brighter, or I always want you to read a little darker. And there's lots of different situations as to why you might do that. Now if I manipulate the wheel here, however, you'll see that all of a sudden the second little bar appears underneath it. Now, in the bracketing mode on this camera, it's going to take three photos in sequence. Uh, and you get to decide these extra two photos, how far away from a regular exposure are they going to be, which this one does up to two stops in either direction. Uh, a, and for those of you who don't know, a stop of light is where you either double the amount of light or cut the amount of light in half. That is what one stop means, whether you're talking about shutter speed or aperture, it doesn't really matter. Now, uh, so you can see that that's on. I can tap my shutter to get back to my display screen here. And now you can see on my light meter, it's showing me these two dots. It's showing me it's going to be doing the bracketing. Now, once you've done that, you're going to want to set your drive mode, which is a shortcut button right here, um, to from single shooting to continuous shooting. That way, when you hold down the shutter button, it will take all three photos at once rather than you having to go one, one picture, two picture, three picture. So when you do that, take your three pictures. And when you go to the picture review mode by pushing the play button, you'll be able to see there's a regular exposure, an underexposure, and a, and a, there's three different exposures. Overexposure, regular exposure, underexposure. So that's regular, under, over. And that's just on the white background here. Now that can be especially useful for things like HDR and Photoshop, um, or just combining images basically for greater detail. 